Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Uh, today I have a fun uh, tutorial for you. We're gonna break down the basics of painting a pumpkin, but then we're gonna give it a fun, colored, weathered look to it. So you can use any color combination you like. I've got blue and purple. We did a purple and red. And then I've also got a green and yellow. So really you can do these in any color you want. You could even add little jack-o'-lantern faces to them if you would like, but we're just gonna break it down shape by shape so that you can recreate these stones of your own. They're perfect for Halloween. So as always, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and we will head right into this fun tutorial. So I was just finishing up some rainbow rocks and I had some leftover paint, so I wanted to just kind of make some quick, almost weathered colored looking pumpkins um fall is right upon us so i figure why not so i'm just going to do a real quick tutorial i just got a simple rock here you can make your pumpkins any shape you want but you build them the same so i'm going to show you how to draw a basic pumpkin first and then i'll show you how to kind of get this weathered painted look and then we'll finish it up so the first thing you need to do is create the center like a section of your pumpkin and that will just kind of decipher what your shape of your pumpkin will be. So I'm gonna do a taller pumpkin on this rock just because of the shape. So we're gonna do a sideways kind of eye shape right in the center of our rock. Now we're gonna build the pumpkin up and out. It's gonna start at the same point and end at the same point, but we're going to bring it out to the side at least two times I like to do in each direction. And it's okay if it doesn't look perfect right now because it will look better once we get everything put together. You can add a stem now, but we're gonna add more detail to the end, the stem and the curls and everything once we get this part painted. So once you've got your black on there, give it a little second to dry, pick out what colors you want to use um, to create your pumpkin. So I've got a bunch of brushes over here. Which one am I gonna, I'm gonna use this one. It's a 10 over zero is what it's got on there. So just a very fine tipped brush, okay? And we're gonna go right into the first color we wanna use and we're gonna start at the very tip top. And we don't have to worry about staying in the lines that much. So I'm gonna grab some yellow here. You're just gonna go in the same curve as the pumpkin. So we're gonna lay it and very lightly pull down and away all the way around the top area here, creating more of a little streaks, get more paint as you need. But you want it to kind of fade as it goes down the pumpkin. Get, that's how we're gonna get that kind of faded look. And then I like to flip my pumpkin, so I'm all, I like pulling down. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna follow the curves of the pumpkin. And don't worry about going over the black because we're going to touch all that up later. It's just helping us give us the curved lines. I try to like get most of my paint off. You can kind of tilt it more on the side and get some of these in-between places. And then we're going to go into our second color, which I have green here. This pumpkin's going to be rotten, maybe. I don't know. I think it's fun. You can kind of take the liberty to make it any color you want. Purple and blue pumpkins don't really exist either, right? Although I think every year you go to the pumpkin patch, there's more strange looking things every year. All right, so we're just gonna streak this the same way we did the yellow. And then in between, we don't wanna completely fill it, but we're gonna get in between the top and bottom too, just kind of Keep your brush strokes going with the curve of the pumpkin. There we go. I'll get most of my green back off before I go into my yellow. I'm just gonna alternate kind of back and forth till I'm happy with the amount of color in here. And 
then the last couple I'm a little more intentional about. So if you see an area that you feel like there's an awful lot of green, you can come right back in very intentionally, add a streak of yellow. Same with if you see an area with a lot of yellow, if you wanna come back and intentionally add in a little bit more green. Just go back and forth between your colors. Okay. All right. So once you're done, rinse your brush. We'll give this just a second to dry. I've got my 1M pen here. So while the bottom parts are drying, where we're, we're, we're going to color over, we're going to work on our stem a little bit. So the stem I always like to make on here, nice and and thick. You can help take up more space on your rock with your stem. If you want to, you can make them as big or as little as you want. And then off the tip of the stem, you can have one kind of, you can do this two different ways. So it can kind of continue up and then kind of come back and create the little vineys. Or you can have it arch up and over to create the vines like so. Clean up that edge just a bit. Okay, now the part where the stem actually connects to the pumpkin, I like to actually pull from the stem into um, the uh, sections of the pumpkin. So you're gonna follow your stem down and then take that and create your line all the way to the bottom of the pumpkin. And then this one as well, we're going to follow our stem right onto that piece. And then connect it to the bottom of the pumpkin, just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, right off the stem. Because if you look at how pumpkins are, the stem usually goes right into you know, those creases that go out into the pumpkin. Now I am working right on top of my acrylic, so if your acrylic is still maybe a little bit damp, just make sure you're doodling off the tip of your pen so you don't get like a dry spot of paint on there so it continues to write well for you. And there we have it. Isn't that so fun? Super easy to do. And like I said, you could do these in any color that you want, any color combination that you want. I'll probably do a few others in maybe a pink or a red or something along those lines as well. So I hope you give this tutorial a try. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If there's something else you'd like to know how to draw, always leave it in the comments below. I'll see if I can get to it. Everybody have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.